All right. So I could keep on working on my tree, but I really want, uh, you know, to, to just wrap this thing up so I can show you guys how to get it inside a game engine. Uh, what we need to do is we actually have to uh, take down its poly count to get into a, a game engine. Like right now, that's just too many polygons for it to go into a game engine uh, and for it to be in real time. So we're going to use this button right here, the reduce selected. So turn on your wireframe and then we can click this reduce selected button. It's going to ask us to convert to triangle, say OK, and then hit this thing a couple of times. Keep keep hitting this 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 button around a couple of times and you're going to gradually see the, the, the detail lost. Now you want to keep clicking down. You can see right down here the number of triangles that your object is. You never want to have anything that is really more than, you know, I'd say 7,000 triangles. Like, let's, let's, let's get everything to about 7,000 triangles. Like, that's a nice size right there that the engine could kind of deal with. Uh, you know, that still is actually quite high. If you could go lower, that'd be great. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. If you want to keep it detailed, you can go a little higher but never ever go over uh, 10,000 triangles. That's just too much for a game engine to take. Okay, so keep hitting this button, reduce selected, until this number right here gets down uh, to a nice number between 1,000 and you know seven or eight or nine or 10,000. Uh, ask your Uco teacher if you're just not sure what number you should make your thing. As long as you can see your silhouette is nice, you're, you're usually okay.